yes, bless now. Yo, fly again. You know what is this? Des Rocksteady, aka Des Art. King of the Pit TV. Yo, we're listening to Turnstile Glob on the entire record, front to back. We're on track eight. We're enjoying the ride. This is one of the easiest listens I've ever had, okay? Very pleasing, very smooth. This one's entitled Fly Again. Let's go. So a recurring theme throughout this record is you'll have an intro and then you'll have a verse and then you'll go into the chorus with a harsher vocal like more of a, a shout as opposed to like a sung melody and then we'll see where we go after this if it was like typical song structure or what we have seen reoccurring we're going to go back into that verse with a different lyrical maybe even the same lyrical and then you know blah de blah de blah but we might also go into like a bridge section and then into the chorus again because that's what they have been doing so let's see what goes on <laughs> solo section bridge little variation we've gone into the chugs on the second half of the verse coming into the chorus again um, which adds variation and also does a good job of like additional tension prior to the second chorus to give it a little more oomph you know a little more restrained before letting it all loose in that chorus again <laughs> Wow. Outro might have been the best part of that tune. That little build up there right at the end was really nice. The drummer uh, finally had time to shine because I wasn't paying much attention whatsoever to the drummer throughout this record up until that point. Um, I thought it was uh, a little bit demeaning in a way to sample the drums uh, initially on the record because I thought, well, the drummer's. You know, the drummer deserves to play the drums. I don't know why why that would be the case other than just like the aesthetic, which works for him, so it is a benefit. But uh, the drummer finally got time to shine there. Them fills right at the end are quite nice. Uh, as the track goes, you know, rinse and repeat, you know what I mean? So let's go on to the next tune, see, see what the deal is. YSL, a Dua Lipa. Uh, do a leaper can write a tune, mate. Well, she can't write one. She can't write one, but she can sing one. Do a leaper got some right hits. So, without further ado, 